Hey guys, it's Aznanamada here, welcome to Let's Play Half-Life. I'm sorry it has been so long since I last played a game. Well, actually, it has been how long since I played a game. I played one earlier today. Uh, I mean, Let's Play a game, of course. Uh, those are reasons I'll get into later on in the episode. But basically, yes, Half-Life, a game I should have played, or Let's Played, sorry, once again, ages ago. <laughs> and that was... It's really, really loud. Anyway, so yes, here we are. Um, and phew, screw it, let's just jump right in. New game, we will go medium because we're awesome. As for the training room, uh, I will show that in a bonus episode because it is a completely different part of the game. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll go medium because, you know, easy is too easy and hard is too hard. Half life. Ah! So loud! Ah! And here we are on a train. I love trains. What up? I said what up? Give me a breakfast. You can reach. Ah, forget it. Uh, anyway, so yes, this is Half Life. Um, okay, for so those of you who don't know what Half Life is all about, this is obviously before Half Life Two. Uh, Sorry if I'm talking over this person. I don't know if there's subtitles in this game. I am going to check. Uh, voice. Wait. Uh, video. Maybe. Is it no? Uh, that's. I think that's, that might be. I think that's multiplayer. Uh, because yes, it was multiplayer. Con. Hey, look. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not doing. I don't know. Who cares? She's not saying anything important. Basically, yes. So this is obviously the prequel to Half-Life 2. Um, where basically we are at Black Mesa Research Facility. Um, it is sort of similar to Portal. It is a research facility. We do spend the whole game here. Uh, spoiler. Well, not the whole game. There are bits where we don't always spend our time here. Uh, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so yes. There's a missile, you know, just to, just to watch A. I want to see B and C, but, you know, this, I don't think this train goes that way. Um, so, yes. Um, now, it's kind of interesting because... How can I explain this? You've got to be able to bridge the gap between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Basically, Half-Life 2 is set years and years after this because... Uh, certain things... Ah! Uh, I'm trying not to spoil anything, and at the same time, I'm trying to tell you exactly what's going on. Let's just say that this game puts a lot of things in motion. I suppose some things will be explained, while others will not. You see, some things that happen in. Uh, I've, okay, don't be worried there. The entire thing just stopped, which could be bad. Um, okay, everything seems fine. It's a helicopter. Run! Just in case the blades spit out of control and go into your face. Bye bye. He's waving his hand. I don't care what you say. Um. <coughs> uh, so yes. Um. Yeah. It's. Uh, so we don't like Half Life Two and Half Life One. They are very different games. Two. They're two very different games. I'm sorry. I'm stuttering. It's been such a long time. Um. Uh, while we wait for that to connect, like, you can, like, the reason I did Half-Life 2 first it is my favourite Half-Life game, and you do not need to play them in order. Although I would prefer it if you did play them both, you don't have to do it in order. Um, yes. Now I'm about done ranting about that, hopefully you understood what I was saying, I know I didn't. Here we are, yes, we are, we of course prefer players, Professor, or... Yeah, Dr. Gordon Freeman, <laughs> male, age 27, education at P uh, PhD, MIT, theoretical, uh, theoretical physics. My position is a research associate, and I can guarantee you I completely forgot that that bit was there. Assignment, uh, Anomalous Materials Laboratory, appearance level 3. So we can go everywhere we want. Uh, uh, sponsor is classified. I'll get into that later. Disaster response priority. Discorrecting area. I just made that up. Okay, so a fucking robot. 
How awesome is that? Oh, no, I'm not really. <sighs> so, yes. Um, I guess I might as well go into the reasons as to why it's been such a long time since I have LP'd again. LP'd all over again. Okay. That was, that was just poor taste. Was, although I do love toilet humor. I find it hilarious. Easy there. <laughs> um, and no one else does. Because I'll tell a joke about poo and everyone will stare at me while I'm bursting into hysterics because I find it hilarious. Uh, like this one time. <laughs> now nah, I won't go into my stories. Although, if you do want to hear some of my poo stories, just tell me. <laughs> and I will. Well, well, well. What you have experienced right there is a G-Man sighting. That is correct. I, they are in this game and I will be pointing them out because I know where they are. As well as I did number two. And you should really not be walking into that, buddy. What, do you, uh, that kind of seems dangerous. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yes. Long story short, uh, I was moving. I had to get a new computer. Multiple other things. Yada, yada, this, yada, that. Anyway, here we are. So many loading screens. I'm not cutting these out, by the way. That's my real loading time. Are you jelly? I wasn't in there. I was standing in the hallway. Well, was I even allowed to do that? You're on the asshole. Sorry. That was not nice. I apologize to him. Here. Barney. Barney. Have a hug. Anyway, but you know, yes. This is Barney. Uh, a Barney. If you remember from Half-Life 2. The real Barney was actually in that hallway at the very, very beginning who I wanted to profist. It's because you play as him in a game called Half-Life Blue Shift. Which is a... Uh, sp uh, how can I describe it? It's not a spin-off, necessarily. Because I feel like spin-offs are like... Made by different people. I don't know. And there's another one where you play as another character later on. Which we don't... I don't even know we get to see him in particular. We get to see what he is. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. That's a thing. All the Barneys look exactly the same. As well as... Is this really necessary? All of the Kleiners, except for you. I'm watching you. Hello. Uh oh, he's got the BSOD. Oh yeah, sure, sure. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazards. <laughs> Tap those keys. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, maybe if you press the restart button. I gotcha. Wait, got it. I can't. Click it. There we go. Aha! Oopsie. It wasn't me. It was him. Him. The guy that also looks like Kleiner. They're all Kleiner. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> what up? I said, what up? Yeah. Anyway, this game is. Well, it's a bit less linear than. Ooh. Oops. Oops. That was me pressing my glass up against the screen. There's another one. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on in here? Does that say E equals MC squared? I don't know, probably. Let's piss him off. Boop. What up? Hello? 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 Talk to me! Of course you can. What a bastard. Anyway, this game isn't necessarily as linear as Half-Life 2. Um, I mean, it kind of is. It, it, the play style is actually quite a bit different. There's more weapons, for one, for those who are interested in that kind of thing. Um, but I'm just going to cut to the chase. You do need to go the way I'm going here. I went the other way just to show it was there. And in here is unnecessary too. Those of you who have watched my Half-Life 2 uh, LP, Remember when Dr. Magnuson said a certain something about a certain microwave pudding? Beep 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 Whoopsie! Wasn't me. And there you go. Dr. Magnuson is not in this game. Well, he probably is. I don't know. Everybody's like that. Uh, Guffrey. As I expected, why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? What? I don't... What? I don't know. Just don't even talk to me. 
Laidlaw. He is a lawyer that gets laid every night. What a bastard. Um, these are health packs that you see on the wall. Um, obviously. Um, because it says health. And we will need them when we take damage. Anyway, boop. Time to get our ATV suit. Oh, now with a voice. Shut the fuck up. I don't know how to turn it off. I think there's a way. I don't know. Beep boop boop. Uh, it comes with its own light. And music. I'm not into the hip hop of the, sorry, modern day society. Yo, I, I can't do the co-chisel, the, the mizzle as a lot of people can. Hold on, let me just check something. Uh, of course I didn't set my timer. <laughs> Cause you know, whatever. So <coughs> what I'll do, I'll stop it here. I'm gonna be recording three episodes today. So, you know, if you have anything to say, in the next two episodes, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss that. Um, <laughs> anyway, this has been the first episode of Let's Play Half-Life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.